Hey, Kenny Jang here with The Daily KJTV. I've got a quick question for you immediately. I've been using Scribd, uh, my audiobook service this year, to consume audiobooks. And the question I have is, do you consider when you complete an audiobook that you've read it? Do you use air quotes? Do you read or do you read audiobooks? That's my question to you. So I came across a list, a list of words that have entered into the dictionary for the first time in 2018. And when you look over the list, you realize that dictionaries are something that need to be disrupted. It is an artifact of the printing culture and that we've transcended that. We are faster now than what printing can provide to us. So just look at the words that were added for the first time officially to the dictionary. Number one, bingeable, as in programs like Netflix or things in series that you can consume on a rapid basis in succession. Bingeable. Another one is TLDR. Too long, didn't read. If you don't know what that is, then you've really been behind the times. Here's the third one. Instagram as a verb to take a picture and post it to social media on Instagram. Instagram, the verb. Have we gotten to a place in culture that the dictionary is no longer keeping up with the times? That's my question to you. And here's the original question. Do you read audiobooks? We don't have a word to actually capture the essence of that. What should it be? Do you air quotes read it or do you read it or should there be another verb? I really want to solve this because I'm going to read dozens of audiobooks this year, but I feel like using the word read is not the same thing. I don't feel it's, it's not that I'm cheating, but it just doesn't convey the same thing and you want to be authentic. And so do I just continue to use air quotes with the word read or is it legitimately reading? Is that what reading has become? It's about the more about the consumption and less about the form factor. What's, what's your read on it? See what I did there? I'm Kenny Jang, I'll check you out here tomorrow on The Daily KJ TV.